Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the MOS logic families. MOS stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Logic Family. So MOS is the name because we are using here MOSFETs. All the logic family uses the transistors which are made up of MOSFETs, Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. MOS as I have already <coughs> written it is metal oxide semiconductor and FET we know already it is field effect transistor field effect transistor so this particular logic family uses all the MOSFETs to design its logic circuits whatever may be the logic circuit and gate or gate any type of logic circuit that can be built using this MOSFETs <coughs> Compared to the bipolar technology, MOSFET fabrication is very easy and it uses very less power when compared to the bipolar logic family. So compared to BJT, MOS family is simpler and inexpensive and inexpensive to fabricate inexpensive to fabricate and it also requires it also requires less power better noise margin better noise margin greater supply voltage range greater supply voltage range higher fan out and require much less chip area less chip area so because of these advantages because of these advantages this particular logic family is very very popular okay so the main thing is less area less power better noise margin and greater supply voltage range so if you are having a logic low or logic high logic low is covering 0 to something like up to 1.5 volts and in the logic 1 3.5 to 5 volts such uh, such type of uh, higher amount of supply voltage range is there for this particular logic family along with that it is also having higher fan out that means the output of a logic family <coughs> the output of this particular logic family can be used to drive any other many other logic circuits okay with these advantages, this particular logic family has very popularity. And coming to the symbol of this symbol of this particular MOSFETs, in normal FET field effect transistor, we will be having three terminals. Three terminals. What are they? input gate gate we are having drain and source okay gate drain and source these are the three terminals that we have with respect to the field effect transistors but when compared to the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor for this logic families we are having a transistor that is having fourth terminal that is having fourth terminal this is the actual symbolic representation of the MOSFET this type of symbolic representation is known as N MOSFET N MOSFET the fourth terminal represents here substrate fourth terminal represents here substrate that means in addition to these three terminals gate drain and source we are also having a substrate terminal which is used to bias this particular transistor 
okay if you are taking a transistor symbol symbol not symbol constructional view constructional view this is n type this is n type and this is p type we are having n terminal here n terminal here and it is the gate terminal so gate source and drain for this particular transistor in addition to these three we are also having the substrate terminal s yes. most commonly substrate and source are short circuited most of the cases substrate and source are short circuited okay that's why you can also represent this terminal as yes yes you can also represent the terminal as yes yes okay suppose if you are saying the above transistor in on state in on state how it is said to be in on between gate and source we are having we should give a threshold voltage we should give a threshold voltage threshold voltage is nothing but minimum voltage to require the transistor to be on minimum voltage required for the transistor to be on so if we are giving the cut-in voltage vgs as vgs as greater than if vgs is greater than vt then we can say the transistor is on transistor is on so when the transistor is on how we can represent it it is acting as a short circuit it is acting as a short circuit so drain this is source okay so when it, this type of uh, on switch can be occurred when input voltage is little bit greater than 2 volts this is the general required voltage for the transistor to be on when it is in on uh, when it is in uh, nmos case for the same transistor if it is if the input voltage is if vgs is that means it is for off switch it is for off switch if vgs is negative or zero volts then it is acting as open switch open switch so open switch of it is simply there is no connection between drain and source so this is drain and this is source so here it is having an impedance of 10 power 10 ohms the impedance for the on switch it is having 10 power 10 ohms but whereas for the off switch it is in the order of 1 kilo ohm for on switch it is in the order of 1 kilo ohm and for off switch it is in the order of 10 power 10 ohms 10 power 10 ohms see how much uh, higher voltage it is having okay because of this high impedance it is acting as open circuit and because of this low impedance it is acting as short circuit okay this is about the characteristics of this cn mos coming to the pmos transistor p mosfet p mosfet so if you are taking the p mosfet same it is also having substrate terminal drain terminal source terminal along with these three we are also having gate now the direction is outside okay we know very well for the pmos transistor the direction here for the, at the source it is inside and the uh, for nmos transistor it is for it is at outside okay opposite is the case here with the pmos transistor for the substrate as well okay again for on switch again for on switch in the pmos case on switch in the pmos case it is acting as a short circuit between drain and source when vgs is negative because for the pmos transistor we should give a vgs of negative voltage to make it on okay so we should give a minimum of we should give a minimum of less than 2 volts less than 2 volts then it exhibits here on switch of 1 kilo ohm for off switch that means for open circuited switch made up of this p type again we are giving positive supply or 0 volts if vgs is equal to 0 volts or something like a positive voltage then 
it is acting as a short uh, sorry open circuit it is acting as an open circuit open circuit so 10 power 10 ohms is the resistance exhibited by this one okay it is acting as off switch now if you see the in uh, characteristics of this particular mosfet let us see the characteristics characteristics like for mos logic or for mos logic family propagation delay is 50 nanoseconds noise margin is 1.5 volts and power dissipation pd is 0.1 milliwatt fan out is 50 okay these are the characteristics exhibited by this particular mass logic family for frequency greater than 100 hertz for frequencies greater than 100 hertz here we are, we are operating with low frequencies because all these are low power devices okay this is about mass logic families and introduction to the nmos and pmos transistors in the next video i will explain about the nmos inverter how it is made up of uh, how the transistor can be used to create an nmos inverter with the help of a resistor here the resistor is also made up of nmos okay we will see that in the next video thank you